Tony Janetti, an Elmwood Park native, is best described as a true Chicago trailblazer. She started her 40 plus year career as a journalist with the advice of her Italian parents, nothing is beyond your reach. Tony took these words to heart as she broke into the male dominated world of sports reporting. She would become one of the first women to cover sports beats, including the Chicago White Sox and Cubs. Tony always loved sports, especially baseball, which she credits to her mother, Helen. Tony began her career in 1972 as an investigative reporter at the Daily Herald in Arlington Heights. After nine years, she moved on to the Chicago Sun-Times in 1981. She would poke her head into the sports department during her early years to offer ideas on features and special projects. Her big break came in 1986, when, with the help and endorsement of legendary columnist Mike Royko, she was switched to a permanent position within the sports department. Tony described being a female reporter as challenging when few women were seen on the sidelines or in the press boxes. She never let it slow her down as she covered college basketball, baseball, the 1988 Olympic Games, and four Final Four tournaments. Her name spelling did give her some anonymity in the paper, as she would receive letters addressed to Mr. Gennetti. In an interview, Tony said that one of the qualities that set her apart was her ability to get to know the players personally and go beyond the statistics. In 2006, Chicago Cubs' Ryan Sandberg asked Tony to accompany him on the player's tour of the Baseball Hall of Fame. She said she was floored that she was chosen and described it as a great experience. Tony retired in 2014 from full-time reporting to freelance. She recently received the 2021 Ring Lardner Print Award. Tony Gennetti is recognized by the Chicagoland Sports Hall of Fame for her extraordinary contributions to Chicago sports journalism with the Excellence in Media Award.